Hey guys! Today I want to talk to you about disappointment. We all have disappointments in our lives and how we deal with them is kind of one of the key components to really owning our lives and creating the, um, the, the space and the life that we actually love. So disappointments are, and I kind of did this a little bit in the post today, um, disappointments are the kinds of things where we um, feel like we're heartbroken or we feel like something didn't work out the way that we wanted it to. Um, something just kind of feels like it slammed the door in our face a little bit. And that really sucks. It hurts really bad when that happens. And when it happens over and over and over again, we feel even worse. Like each one kind of bashes our self-esteem a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Um, but really the, the key to remember with, with that is that no matter how bad the situation is and no matter how sad you are, no matter how upset you might be, no matter any of those things, any of those emotional internal things that are going on, at the end of the day, there is always, or almost always, there is almost always something that we can learn from the experience or something that we can achieve that we couldn't have achieved if we didn't have the experience or something that changed us in a way that we would be less than we are if, we'd, if we hadn't gone through it. And that is really a, it's a tough thing to, to think about. It's a tough thing to have been through. And I get that, um, you know, when we're disappointed in ourselves or in someone else or in a situation or in an outcome of something, we tend to want to think, oh, that's the absolute worst thing that ever happened to me. But really what we need to do truly is to say, okay, that happened. At some point, I'm going to be able to look back at it, because this is always the truth. At some point, I'm going to be able to look back at it and pinpoint that as a moment when I learned X, or I'm really glad now that I didn't get that because Y happened, or I was able to create Z because that happened. Uh, a prime example for me is, um, developing Meniere's disease. I could be lying on my bed still whining and crying about the fact that I have this friggin' disease that, that makes me kind of, you know, be dizzy and uncomfortable a lot of the time. Or I could be doing what I'm doing, which is trying to create a new life for myself that involves um, uh, something that I had never really thought of as a life choice for me, which is building the, a, a career as a life coach, being a Tony Robbins wannabe. Um, and that is something that I had always thought, yeah, that would be so interesting to do. That would be so cool to do. I'm, I'm in awe of people who do that. But I never thought it was possible for me until necessity created that situation for me and said, well, no, it's, it's not only possible but you have a lot of gifts to bring to the world. You have a lot of things to share with the world. And that is something that I'm incredibly grateful for. So I hope that this helped a little bit and kind of put some perspective on the fact that we don't always get what we want. Sometimes really shitty things happen. Sometimes they are the absolutely most horrific thing we could ever imagine happening in our entire lives. Um, but there is always something that we can grow that comes out of that experience. Something that we can grow from that comes out of that experience. So just a little nugget of wisdom for this week. Have a great week and I will see you next week. Bye.